Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sonolvia Tech Talks. I'm your host, Jonathan Reynolds, and today we're looking at Trinity Desktop Environment on Linux Mint. Trinity Desktop Environment is a forked version of KDE 3. When KDE moved on to their Plasma Desktop Environment in KDE 4, people at Trinity decided Hey, KDE 3 is perfect and fine, and I, for one, agree. Out of the box, um, well, first of all, this is totally themed to be Linux Mint. I made it to be that. Pardon the food. It's lunchtime. <laughs> Now, it comes with all the needed and necessary KDE 3 applications. But one of my favorite things is, watch this, the two-in-one deal. Look at this. We have Conquer right there. Now watch this. Let's go to our web browser. Conquer right there. Now, for an example, let's go to this web address, 10. Here we go. Huh, weird. And it works with the internet. That's the thing. On KDE Plasma 5, I cannot whatsoever use anything to connect to a network. I have to log out and log back in. All right, so let's try this again. There we go. Conqueror. Can also use the Samba protocol, which is nice. Let's do that there. Here we go. Just like music. And it's loading everything from Samba Protocol, which I think is awesome. Ranch, really? Hmm. Yep. All right. Hmm. No, we don't want that. Hmm. All right. Let's see what else this can handle. Let's check out my theme, my mint theme. Let's do this over here where it belongs. Better. So this is reminiscent of the old Windows XP control center. In a way. We are on Trinity version R1404, the latest. Um, let's see. Theme manager. Okay. Now, I went through hmm. I lost it. We'll just do that. OK. 
Okay, colors. Mint. Okay, so I made two themes, one called Mint Theme, and in the color theme scheme, I made one called Mint. It's pretty cool. Um, now, uh, we're going to do something real quick. I'll hit X. And see, I'm hitting the home button, or the uh, start button. It doesn't open this menu. So, we're going to configure that. Key, keyboard, and mouse. Now, let's put shortcuts. Short, short. Cuts. Okay. So we're going to go to favorites, escape, and go to the Trinity Control Center again. And from there, search keyboard or shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts. Click it. All right. Use one key as a modifier. Search menu. Click pop-up menu. Oh, cancel. There we go. And there it is. Restored. Apply. And that's one of the things that makes it nicer. Okay, you also have a place for locations. Let's do remote places. So there's network shares. Samba shares. Let's do Samba. Hmm. Never works, right? Okay, web folder, no. FTP, no. Let's try that. Name. Okay, we'll call it server PC. Server is SMB. And this is only this IP I don't worry about you guys getting because it's only for my little network. Linux only. Folder. Hmm, I gotta put a folder. Uh, so I can access my music. Uh, server uh, music. Save and connect. Unable. Okay, cancel. So it's just easier to do the Samba share slash 10 dot 42. Yeah, I know. Dot, dot zero dot one. All right. And happy 4th of July, everyone. It's a day called Independence Day. Let's see what we got here. Another thing about Conquer, it's an all in one. Now, who's that? Chair was in the background. We had to take it out. Senior picture right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Oh yeah, overdrive wasn't working. And this one is Minecraft Static Current using the uh, Armors Workshop mod. Hmm. But Conquer conquers hmm. Hmm. no pardoning the pun please <laughs> Co 
conquer conquers the idea that you have to have a separate file manager and a separate web browser. The only issue I have with Conquer, it's outdated. The way it identifies to other For example, web behavior. No. Hmm. Somewhere here. Browser identification. Mozilla 5. And we're past 24. <laughs> so Conqueror needs an update. I'm going to go searching for one. There probably is one. So yeah. Lots of fun. But I just love how it works. It's like the old Windows menu, you know? Hmm. Unfortunate thing about my combination of programs is this. Boom. VLC hates online. So, if it's not mounted, VLC won't play it. For me, at least, with Samba shares. But yeah, I didn't install a whole batch of KDE ones. Look at this, though. Shell. This is what I like. Tabs here. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of weird. And though. Oh, maybe it says. I'm not sure how to do that anymore. Closed session. So there's tabs. And that's neat. So basically, it thinks that this is like a website, so we'll hit save as. Desktop, save. And it's downloading it. Kind of like the old Windows XP. The design of this is very much like a transition between Windows XP and Seven. No, not Vista. Definitely not. We won't call that. It's XP with the ability to have a transparent bar. This strange but yet organized menu. It's amazing. Look at this menu. History. All that. Computer gives you everything computer wise. Network folders. 
wish I could get one set up. Um, applications, history, there's your shutdown, suspend, and all that. Never suspend to disk. Suspend to disk is hibernate. And I never recommend anyone to hibernate. If you were going to suspend, suspend to RAM. I've not had a computer on the Linux Mint system yet that has successfully hibernated. Not even the new one we're on right now. So yeah. The Pilgrim's Progress the by John Bunyan. Preface and Dramatis Personae. This is a LibriVox Volume recording. Keys do not All LibriVox work, recordings are in the public domain. For I'm more information school, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Okay. There's that right there. And this is an amazing desktop environment called Trinity. Give it a look. Thank you.